Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 71 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. Uh, real quick, just a little bit of stuff off camera, uh, making this guy nice and automated. Very cool. Um, threw down uh, the charge service automation. I do need to hook up like a storage bus or something, like to the to the thing over there, but shouldn't be a big deal. Um... Just so we have infinite service available to us. What I decided to do for this bit is I want to, um, you know, clean this up a little bit. So if I do that, I should be able to toss down some dents here. And then this makes wiring this up way easier. I'm pretty sure I can do this. No, I can't do that. Can I not do that? Dude, you are not serious right now. <laughs> you can't script that kind of thing, guys. That's not something, like, I, I, there's nothing I could have done to make that happen. That is not, like, no amount of admin commands or, ch there's nothing I could have done to have made that ridiculousness just occur. Anyway, uh, yeah, can you do that and then hook this guy back up to the pattern dude here? Oh, no, apparently not. Interesting. Today I learned. Well, indeed. I thought that would be cool or doable, but I guess not. Um, so what we'll want to do then is just like reconnect this dude, put these guys back in there. Um, what we'll probably want to do then is um, maybe I will. I know what I'll do. I will, I will anchor this, right? So we'll put some anchors down like so. So then that should be cool. And what we can have is dense. Well, technically we don't need to be dense. You can just be this and that and that. Is that cool? I think that's cool. That works for me. Yeah, so then we've basically got, you know, two channels this way and three channels this way. And then we can set up our export buses on the top, right? Uh, we probably want crafting cards and we probably want to learn how to make acceleration cards too. Um, you need what? Um, electrum plate? Yeah, that should be doable. Sweet. And then you're going to need crafting cards. I should probably just be teaching you how to make these at this point. Look what happened to some of my cables. Something weird in this chunk happened. It's only in this chunk. No idea how that happened. Very strange. Weird things happen sometimes, folks. Such is modded Minecraft. Uh, so yeah, we probably want to teach you. And we want you to know how to make you. Now you know how to make everything in there? Oh my goodness, it is so cool to see pluses on every single item means that we're really getting somewhere with our with our stuff so then you and what would be like a good way to do you signal and plates would probably be the smart way to go because that's definitely something that we could automate yeah that should be cool sweet okay so what I want to do is export bus did I already get them? Yes. Into my metallurgic infusers, right? So you're going to want to side config everything. You should be purple for input and output so that we're ready to, to handle that. And then on the top, um, extra, right? Yellow, cool. And then you're gonna be carbon, cool. And then you're on the top, gonna be yellow and you're gonna be redstone cool and then you're gonna be yellow on the top and you're gonna be diamond and then we'll probably we'll see how i want to run the wiring here but i'm suspecting if you're three and you're probably done over there i could run all five along the top and that would be fine so i think i'm gonna do that I'm going to let these all five connect to each other, right? Uh, so you're going to be 
input output eject and yellow right uh and then you're going to be this dude okay and then you uh are going to be source gems remember um so you're going to be source gems and don't forget to make you yellow cool why do i keep hearing like one of those chests but i can never find him i hear him but I can never find him. I don't know where he is. Anytime I'm over here, I've been hearing like a little chest opening noise. And he must be hiding somewhere, like in the multi blocks or something. I don't know where he is. I can never find him. Right here. Oh. There he is. I found him. Oh, my mech, I finally found you. Hooray. Hooray. I've been looking for him for like forever now off camera. I keep hearing him, and I'm like, where is he? Okay, so now we want smart fluids cable to come up here and here and here and here and here. Okay, and now I would like you guys to all have crafting cards. Five should be enough, yes? Cool. So, boom. And if I'm not mistaken, you should now be requesting enriched carbon. Oh, you're actually already full, so never mind. But you can be requesting redstone now. Yes. Hey, hey. That's what's up. Doing the job. Nice. And then you, and then you, and then you. Cool. So then he's going to make whatever he needs to make, right? To make to make this all happen. That's cool, right? That is cool. All right, now while all this goes, I want to go back to automating this stuff. Remember I said I was going to automate this? Yeah. So between episodes, I automated a lot of laser IOs um, auto-crafting. So we can now auto-craft most laser IO things, including the raw logic chips, right? So like it knows how to make dash processors. doesn't know how to make dash plates yet. Probably going to have to do something in orbit for that one, because remember, dash plates equals equals we want to... We want to we want to go this route because it's far more efficient, but requires orbit. But we probably want to at some point get that going. But let's automate this dude because I thought this would be a fun thing to do right now. Because two things: one, um, we want these guys automated, right? So like, let's let's clear off stuff we don't need anymore. Pretty sure we're cool on most of this. I don't think we need any of this really. Uh, I do need that elite control circuit still. I also need the infinite range dude, but most of this stuff is done. I feel like everything's done here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're cool on all of it. Elite control circuit's still on our to-do. And we'll get back to progressing through the pack soon. But, yeah. Um, you know, I want to I wanna make sure that we really have a good infrastructure around automation so that when the time comes we can be cool and ready to like, you know, really cruise through the automation stuff. Like, you know, it's going to be awesome being able to, to auto craft everything I want to auto craft. Right. Um, and then we also want to know how to make source gems. Right. So we should add that to the to-do list. Right. So this should be relatively easy. We put item in here and then it turns into correct item and we probably want to semi load balance it. So what I thought we would do is move this. down under here right um and what we could have is something like um like 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 a like a chest probably a barrel because you know roofs i'm just gonna make a mod that likes like, like makes it so you can open chests when there's a block above them that's all that's all that's all the mod's gonna do just eliminate that silliness okay so your job will be don't do that. Stop Stop doing that, source. I don't want you automatically filling up any nearby tanks. That is actually like a big time hassle that it does that, isn't it? I should just... Now... So how... What? So you're filling up any source accepting block, I assume, right? And I, and I'm guessing something is making it so that, yeah. 
It's not great. I gotta figure out that. Let me think about that for a second. All right, so I'm taking a jar that's 20% full. I just got filled up from this. I wanna test how this actually functions, right? So if I have the block version of you, and I just place this here, are you gonna like drain into that? Is that what's happening? Is it Ars Nouveau sending it into this? Like for some reason it thinks this is an acceptor of things? No, I don't think that's what's happening. So that's kind of good news. So it's definitely that source thingy. I think it, I think it's trying to fill a nearby jar, right? Uh, the source link. And I think pattern providers seem like they might be valid jars. Now, what's the chances that if I did this, we'd be cool? Can you receive source that way? Because maybe you won't be seen as a source receiver? Because if that works, then I'm cool with that. We can solve, you know, that situation pretty well. I think I might even come up with a super creative way to solve a real problem with it too. Uh, that could be fun. All right, that works. All right, and now I have a fun way to maybe handle that. Okay, you ready? Ready for the fun way to maybe handle this? Let's see, let's see if this works, because this is gonna be a little ridiculous if it does, and that'll be fun for me. Because you know Dyer, he likes ridiculous. So first off, let's get you guys all good to go, right? Um, so you're going to um, extract. Where's my laser wrench? You to here, here and here. You to you two, you to you two. And then you technically don't need those connected because everything's connected, but it just looks nicer to have a balance, right? Um, and then you're just gonna simply extract on white. Uh, so you can, we'll make it you. And I don't think I need to filter this because assuming anything that goes into the barrel should be sent up there, like that works for me, right? Um, but we do want to like round robin it. I don't think it needs to be like round robin, like forced, but just round robin, try and like, you know, spread the love kind of deal. But I don't even know if it's necessary, right? Because it should only accept one item, right? So you're gonna extract one item at a time. Um, wouldn't mind overclockers, but it's all good. We'll do that. And I'm pretty sure that's not gonna do what I'm thinking, right? And then you can, we don't need you. You're going to be insert on white on the up. Right? Uh, and then you on the up will also be an insert on white. You on the up will also be an insert on white. Up. Up. Up up and up is that cool all right so now everybody should be ready to go and then uh we also want to equally pull out of those right so what we could do is stocking mode it so that we don't have to have a bunch of extract cards and here's my thought you ready for this what if i put this dude here okay now on this is the south face, right? So what if we said stocking mode, okay? And we'll put this filter in there, so source gems. And then we'll also toss in all the essences. So if you find any essences in those guys, go ahead and stock them up as well. Cool. Okay, but I want you to go on the south face of that block. Is that cool? You'll notice the north face doesn't have a laser. And the reason it doesn't have a laser is because on the north face of this block, which is this one, there is no item handler to interact with. But on the south face, which is over there, there is. Clever Dyer is clever. Right? How cool is that plan? Right? So now he should be inserting back into the pattern provider and we should be cool. So now what I can do is say, hey, you, you can be lapis equals source gem. That was supposed to be lapis, but it's all good. Really doesn't matter which one I use, to be honest with you. Unless there's like a 
500 source, 500 source. No, it 100% doesn't matter. Okay, but then in, 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 in the same way, we can do this, this, this. Maybe I should do the nine at a time ones. Mm. If we get to a point where I need a lot of them, I will convert these to nine at a time recipes, but I don't think that's super necessary, especially since it's automated. I think it'll be fine. Cool. So then you guys and this. So now by doing that, we should see Lapis automatically starting to go in there. Cool. And then they're going to be extracted out. And the reason for that is because this thing needs them. Remember I added source gems as an export bus over here? It's literally trying to fill them up for me right now. And it's crafting source gems as needed to make that happen. How cool is that? Right? Liking it. Super cool. And everything over here is kind of filling themselves up. So that is automating these dudes, right? Uh, that is cool. And if I wanted to make like a bunch of source gems at once, we could easily do that. And then it's going to fill them all in. And this guy's going to do his thing. And then poof. And then the, the stocking mode will go grab all the source gems out of there and stick them back into the thing. And then we're cool, right? How cool is that? I'm loving it. It's great. Whew, that is awesome. That is awesome. All right. Uh, so, hey, we've got a lot of stuff automated now. Hello, Squish. Goodbye, Squish. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, so we can probably clear this out and put him away and put you away and put you away and your backpack and your backpack and your backpack and you can go here and you're good and away, 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 away. And I'm feeling pretty good about a lot of that stuff now. Cool. So super well automated, all the things around the base at this point. Very pleased with where we're at. Let's now continue uh, to start looking at some, we'll figure out what other automations we need to add as we go. But I'm now taking a break from like automating all the things and back to progression a little bit so that we have proper progress, right? Now for Mars attacks, you wanted me to make an elite control circuit, right? And I should get the disillusion chamber uh, up and running with automation. That should not be um, skipped on my part. And I have a disillusion chamber here. Uh, so what we can do is 100% hook you up to some channels. I had a feeling you'd be, you'd be there, but that's okay. Is there anything else over here I might need to meh, maybe? We'll see. But Dissolution Chamber should absolutely um, get a pattern face thing to it. Um, but before we can do that, so number one, why do you have water in you? It's a, do you have water in you? 150 millibuckets, he says. Good, now you're empty. Sweet. We should do the wither ether gas thing, right? So for ether gas, we're going to need some stuff. We're gonna need a uh, laser fluid base and laser fluid drill and purple laser. Uh, any biome can happen in, so where we're at just right here is fine. Um, we should consider though the wither, like lock it down type of thing, right? So what's it called? Uh, from foregoing? Uh, we don't need a weather builder per se, but we want to, it's a stasis. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah. Stasis chamber. Booyah. So we should probably add you and you. This is a, this is a good reminder to things we need to automate. So first off, we absolutely want to automate this dude. Okay. Um, and then we also probably want to automate Mr. Gearmaker, right? That would probably be smart. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's do a pattern over here, right? So we want a pattern provider. And that's going to basically insert into that slot. Do I want uh, I could probably have an interface here, right? For the importing. I know I said I was taking a break from automating all the things. Clarification, I am not no longer automating things. I will continue automating things. However, 
um, we will only automate th like things as we run into them and realize, yeah, we should probably automate that, like we just did, right? So what are we like channel-wise over here? So if we looked at you, you're currently using two channels. So I could 100% just run this. No problem. Do you need to exist? I hope not, because I'm breaking you. Cool. And now we've got four channels coming out of there. And just for clarification's sake, how are we doing on these channels? 27 out of 32. Not bad. Probably going to need more at some point. Not a big deal to split them up when the time comes. Okay. Um, so that said, let's get gold gears automated. And we should have no problem now tossing this in here and saying that I want fluid laser drill control click next next see it go it go nice uh we should probably also add diamond gears which i assume is the same pattern yes it doesn't matter which which jeip should do as long as the input and output is correct okay now with that said we want to automate this dude, right? Um, so let's get the patterns for it and then figure out how it's gonna look. So what we wanna do, why do you have a thing on you? Uh, what we're gonna do is get you ready to go. So the good news is, is we can do the pink slime, right? And, and automatically insert the correct fluid. Um, and then you're going to need latex and then you already know how to make machine frames, so that's kind of cool, right? We might want to learn how to make duroplast sheets, but like we'll deal with some of that mess when we get to it. Okay, so for that, we're gonna want you to sit here, Mr. Pattern. And then I want your output to push to the front for both of these, okay? Now you should have no problem, right? So you're going off there. You've got five out of eight. So I can tap this in relatively easily. Sweet. Right. So now if I want my advanced machine frame, it should be doable if I had the latex and the pink slime obviously I don't. Uh, so what we're going to do now is make it so that we do. Um, what I might do, just to keep things nice and cool, if I broke you and put you instead here, then we could have a storage bus. And you know what I should do? I should make this fluid storage bus a low priority so that he'll only insert things when there's nowhere else for them to sit, right? So like all those slots are cool. I might lock the other two, but I kind of like the idea of them being there as needed for like, you know, little, little, little doodaddy type. Oh yeah, that would be nice to have for a temporary type setup. Okay, so now I should have latex available. Boom, okay. Um, that works. And what I could do, and what I probably should do, is semi-automate the latex processing stuff, but we'll see. But now, what I wanna hook up is all the way over here, I want you, Mr. Paint Slime. So you ready for this plan? I'm going to snag buckets of each. Okay, and I'm going to turn you back on. Ignored. Okay, so I want you always running and making more pink slime. 
And what I'm going to do is remember my cyan, cyan, white thing? Let's make another ender tank. Look at it all going, by the way. Loving it. Yes, it works. I love it. I love it when things work. And then we're going to need more hostile neural network dudes. There's those guys. You can run for a bit. You're going to give me more aphrodescence, which is cool. Right up. I got things to do. Places to be. Thank you. So two cyan die. Okay. And this is going to be added to my list of fluids that we can void, right? So I think in order for this to work, I have to unlock you for a sec, which is no big deal. So you're going to be pink slime and liquid meat and there. Cool. Do I need that much of it? What was my trick for getting this out of here? I had a trick for this, didn't I? Oh, right. I remember. Pink slime, liquid meat, you're empty now. Let's actually lock you and throw a void upgrade. Okay, that will allow eight buckets each, right? Um, what I'll probably do is just throw Copper upgrades in there. This is different than I usually do things, and I and I'm enjoying that. So you actually no, I wanted I wanted pink on the right for no reason other than I want pink on the right. Okay, and then locked. Now anything that goes in here can hold up to 32 buckets worth, which is probably enough for pink slime and, and liquid meat. Right? And now uh, we can take you, who's cyan, cyan, white. We can break all this stuff. Stick this dude right here. Okay. And then any... Any of that stuff that happens to go in there will do its thing. Cool? And then the same for pink slime. So as this thing generates mob drops, well, as it generates the pink slime and the liquid meat, it'll keep my system full. And I think we've got enough mob drops right now that we don't need to worry about that for that much longer. Like, it's not like we need to stress about the fact that we're gonna stop getting mob drops a little bit, right? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's okay. We've got enough of this junk. We've been accumulating for how many episodes now? We're cool for a bit? Yeah, for sure. And then you now have access to those via that drawer system down there. So I should now be able to make this. Cool. Aha! And it put the pink slime in for me. And then it should push the result. Yes. And that means quest. Aha! 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 Is that cool? Alright, so now I just need you. And we can make a fluid laser base. Okay. And then a laser drill. 
and then we should be cool, right? How good is that? How good is that? Everything automated. It's the way we roll. Yeah? You know it. How am I for LaTeX, by the way? Uh, we actually have like a very full tank of it, which I could probably just do that for. Kind of cool. All right, now with you behaving, uh, so we can get our fluid laser drill. Probably want a couple of those. Look at all the auto crafting we're doing. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it a beautiful sight to behold? Love it when a plan comes together. Those Duroplast sheets might be a thing that we're going to have to deal with at some point in the future, but we'll get there. All right, so now for you, sir, you're going to sit right here. Okay. Um, with you guys kind of facing... Like that. Okay. Uh, and then we can have some flux. Okay. And then now you're ready to drill... Now we just need a purple lens. So to get a purple lens, I always find that it's just easier, especially knowing that you need a, like a small amount of stuff. Just, just, just do that. It's fine. It's not a big deal. And if you don't have a purple handy, make one. See, because it needs a quarter of a bucket. So much easier just let it auto craft. Sweet. So now you're going to do that. Depth, I don't think, actually matters, right, for ether gas. I think all that matters is that you're sitting on top of a wither, right? Over wither. Yep. So we're going to want to spawn the wither there. What we should probably also teach while we're here, though, is the add ons. But maybe we'll do that next episode. For now, wrapping up point, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.